what's up it's me Priscilla every time I do that I just feel like I see flowers <laughs> I don't I'm crazy so I am back with another fun video brought to you by totally rip the tape off sketchbox's logo so I actually have I have one of the left uh, one of my leftover boxes from last month Augustus's Augustus's sketchbox. There seems to be more and more options these days for subscription boxes. And one example that you all may know is Loot Crate. Loot Crate is basically an amazing box full of wonderfulness inside of it. Sketchbox is a box of wonderful goodness full of awesome artist supplies for artists like you and me. Now, this is the premium sketch box that I get and you can get your own subscription box at getsketchbox.com and you get this amazing box that is full of amazing art supplies that you can use towards your future projects in your wonderful career of art. So we go ahead and open it up. All right. So Sketchbox sends me to Oh, what? So Sketchbox sends me two little postcards. One of them tells me everything that's inside this box and what's really cool is it tells me which box I have. At the very top it tells me I have a premium box which is also extremely handy dandy is that I get to see how much each one of these little art supplies cost and it tells me the brand and tells me all the information. Sometimes Sketchbox is kind enough to send like little instruction pieces of paper as well to tell you how to use each certain difficult, if it looks difficult, supplies. So this is really awesome so I get to see everything. I have a Faber-Castell Pit Graphite set. Wow, this is some serious stuff. Look at how Wow, it's going to get really dark. Look at these things! Got a General's Kneaded Eraser. And this is really nice. These are my favorite erasers to work with. I'm sure if you watch my tutorials or just my general art videos on Dramatic Parrot, then you can see I use a kneaded eraser a lot and this is coming in this is coming really in handy at the right time because I need a new kneaded eraser. Okay, and then I have General's Gum Eraser, so this is really nice. These actually pick up a lot of graphite and pencil marks. These erase wonderfully. I have a Creta Color. Creta Color. Creta Color. <laughs> I have a Creta Color. Creta Color Monolith Line Eraser. Now this is really fun. I kind of just want to see if this bounces off the wall. <laughs> so I can read all about this little eraser if I want to learn a little bit more. So I can so I can learn that Creta Color Monolith Eraser. These durable soft white erasers are made from genuine India rubber. They work perfectly to remove correct and retouch graphite drawings. So this is going to be my best friend in a couple of minutes. I have a credit color graphite pencil, which is an 8B. This is super dark. And then I have a General's pencil. So believe it or not, I just looked at my postcard and it says that this General's, General's sketch and wash pencil. Alright, and then I have a Derwent Sketching Dark Wash. And it's an 8B, 8B as well. All these soft lids. Oh, it's gonna get so messy. Sometimes, you know how I usually, when I'm like shading things on my tutorials, I use my fingertip. This is the other alternative for when it comes to smoothing and shading and stuff. And this is a better alternative. If you ever come across some blending sticks, like the one I just got from Sketchbox, then this is going to be your best friend when it comes to smoothing out all the shading on your final, final drawings as you're going along because it gets really messy using your fingertip, but when you have a shading stick, this is going to be awesome. And of course, another sticker! So I'm not just going to sit here and show off all these art supplies. Let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse of me actually using all these amazing graphite supplies and I'm going to make a nice, wonderful graphite masterpiece, or at least I'm going to think it's a masterpiece, but let's go ahead and go into that. Alright, so let's talk about this doodle. So the reason why I wanted to do a fox with roses is because I just recently watched The Little Prince on Netflix and it's such a gorgeous animation. If you haven't seen The Little Prince yet, make sure you see it and you can 
see it now on Netflix. So he had um, a pet fox and a rose. I'm not gonna go into much too much detail. So that's what inspired this little doodle. So going on to say my favorite pencils to use was definitely the Faber Castell Pit Master Graphite set. I found myself going back and forth all those pencils and everything and I really enjoyed there were two 6B pencils. There was the really wide one and then there was just the regular pencil looking one and they were both 6B and they didn't have like a wooden enclosure around the top of them so they, it was really nice because I got to use it like a charcoal set and go around and that way I could get that first overall layer for the fox's fur. So let's go ahead and talk about the erasers. The um, My two favorite erasers out of the sketch box was definitely the needed eraser just because if I needed highlights on my roses or the fox's fur and everything, I would get just rip off a piece of that gummy eraser just because it's almost like a Play-Doh eraser where you can just rip it off and make like your own little pieces of eraser and it would go up and would pick up the graphite and everything, which is really, really nice. And then the General's Pencil Art Gum Eraser was amazing if I messed up terribly or if I didn't if my fur was going in the wrong direction and I had to redo it then the gum eraser can pick up any kind of pencil mark it erases it almost not completely but it gets rid of the majority of it which is really really nice to have as an alternative if you really mess up came to getting really dark around the fox's eyes or his nose or the tops of his ear or even like to just really exaggerate the pieces of black hair that he had on his chest and throughout the rest of his face. I, my favorite was the Derwent water soluble sketching pencil for sure. I would go ahead and mention uh, back when I was a junior, uh, my first semester of junior in college, I used to be a double major. I was an art major and I was a theater production major. And when I was an art major, I had to take the basic drawing class. So sometimes it's really hard for me to remember that I have to use the blending stick to smooth out the, my sketch sketch marks and everything with my pencils just because I had a professor and he did not allow us to use blending sticks for our pieces so we were trained to be that way for a six month course because if we used a blending stick or we didn't use our pencils in a circular motion to where he noticed then we were marked down on our grades so sometimes it's really hard for me as when I'm doing a detailed graphite sketch like this with these kind of pencils to remember that I have the blending stick there for me and I want to use it in this piece since Sketchbox sent it to me. So it was really hard to remember, oh, I can totally smooth this out now because I would get so frustrated because I would have such ugly sketch marks and I need to go in and I need to smooth those out. And Another thing I was thinking was, um, if some of you have already heard about it uh, from Jake Parker, World Art Drop Day is on September 6th. It's the first Tuesday of September and I was thinking that maybe this could be a possible piece. I know I was talking about it over on my Vloggity Vlog Vlog channel so if you want to go and check that out where I'm actually talking about doing an art drop day in Charlotte, North Carolina but that's in the future. So. Stay tuned for that for a little bit more information, but I was, I really wanted to use this. So as I'm coming close to ending my good old fox, uh, little prince sketch doodle with these pencils, my closing thoughts are, I, I, I don't know, it's been so long since I've done such a detail. I've done a lot of dog portraits with paint and everything, and it's really fun to manipulate fur with paint. And it's been so long since I tried to be as detailed as possible with the fox's fur and just fur in general. So, yes, but I think my favorite part about this was his eyes and the roses. So that's my favorite part about the whole doodle. You can 
get your own subscription to Sketchbox at GetSketchbox.com. I'll leave in the info box down below all the information to their website. And I'm going to put it right here as well so you can see the website right there. Go and check it out. It is a lot of fun and it's a great way to try out new art supplies. That's why Sketchbox is such a nice thing to have because it means I can try out these things like these Faber-Castell graphite pencils if I really like these and I want to use them for my future graphite masterpieces then I can go and buy a huge assortment pack of all the graphite uh, different leads so I can have the 5B, 4B, 3B, all of them. Yes, it's just, it's a great way to try new art supplies and art supplies are toys to us artists. So when we get new art supplies, and I know that I'm always watching other YouTube channels and I'm looking at all the art supplies they have and sometimes I really wish I had those supplies, but then I just don't wanna go out and buy the 48 package of that certain art supply. So when I wait around for Sketchbox and Sketchbox usually sends me some of that amazing art supply that I could go ahead and give a go. If I like them, I'll go out and I'll buy more of that certain brand. Thank you so much Sketchbox for this wonderful opportunity and sending me these wonderful supplies. I hope you guys will go and check out their website and all the information is in the info box down below. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and hey, if you like this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff and like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see y'all later. Bye!